teenagers, uh, to a certain extent, are easy. You make them do some stuff, they hate doing it, you let them lie down on their backs, they fall asleep, and they think that yoga is the greatest thing in the world. Anytime you let a teenager lie down and do nothing for 10 minutes, man, they love you. My name is Eddie Stern, I'm a yoga instructor. Stretch the arm. If I see a place where yoga would be helpful and someone invites me to do something, I say yes. That's all there is to it. My name is Ellen Fields and I'm a social worker with the Center Against Domestic Violence RAP program. RAP is the Relationship Abuse Prevention Program and we're a teen anti-violence program that is based out of New York City. Every Wednesday, Ellen Fields wrangles up anywhere between 15 to 25 of the kids in her program and, uh, and they come here to do an hour of yoga. It's a funny crew of, um, of pretty hip, young urban kids all listening to their iPods and carrying their yoga mats on their heads. And, uh, but they're great. They're excellent kids. Uh... Teenagers, uh, to a certain extent, are easy. You make them do some stuff, they hate doing it. You let them lie down on their backs, they fall asleep, and they think that yoga is the greatest thing in the world. Anytime you let a teenager lie down and do nothing for 10 minutes and just rest, man, they love you. <laughs> As you inhale, arch your back, pushing your arms a little bit straight and look back towards the ceiling. This is a back bend position. Exhale into downward facing dog, looking towards your navels. The age range from my students this year are 14 to 19, um, and they face various issues. Some come from homes that where violence has existed in the past between parents or step parents or grandparents. I've had some kids who are in foster care. Many of the students have families that are really struggling, either the parents not working because of the economy and it's caused a tremendous amount of stress on the family and there's a lot of, you know, maybe arguing going on. At home I have like little arguments with my mom and that stresses me out and with my sister. So when I come to yoga class it relieves a lot of stress. Good. Bend the knee, place the elbow, stretch the arm. Look at your palm. The palm should be facing to the floor. Well, what I really like about yoga is the flexibility because I stretch before I play my sports and some of this I incorporate it outside so I do some of them to help me stretch out before my sports games or after I work out and it helps you loosen up and it clears up your mind. Yes! Good. Yoga for me mentally, it works well. It helps me clear up my mind, especially at the end when we do the, the relaxation. It helps me just clear everything out or um, in the middle of a pose, you know, you have to control your breathing, and when you control your breathing, you relax a little bit more. So it's, it's good relaxation for the mind. The thing I enjoy most about yoga is that it gives me like a sense of relaxation, because like, I'm not really a relaxed person, I'm more like a hyper person, likes to be hyper a lot, so make me calm in certain situations, like situations usually I'll be hyper about, or I'll get into an argument with somebody about, it just makes me tone it down a notch, so I could just let it, you know, flow, so. It's been pretty relaxing to me and helped me in a lot of situations. Good. Reach forward, put the hands on the floor. Another issue that RAP addresses, which everyone knows is a big issue right now, is the issue of bullying. Some of our students identify as gay and lesbian or transgendered, and some of them have left support at home, and they can turn to RAP and get that support because it's a non-judgmental space. We're hoping that yoga and meditation and learning a little bit about things like nonviolence and about telling the truth and all the different principles that yoga rests upon can help address the issues of bullying that these kids might experience as well. Satya or truth in yoga means to learn how to communicate skillfully, um, to communicate in a nice heartfelt manner that doesn't cause harm to people. Ready? Tighten your waist. Good, come down. Come down. I think over the past six weeks that we've all been together, we've gotten used to each other and gotten to know each other really. It has made us all bond closer together, like opening our eyes to people and accepting them for who they are. So, round of applause for everyone. Great job. Many have commented afterwards, wow, I feel so good. I think they're very surprised at how they physically feel so much better after they've done the exercises. I think yoga, one of the things that does is it does ground the 
child so that way they can respond in a way that where they can really just think more clearly before they speak, before they react. Basically my whole life I've been in foster care from home to home. Mom never fed me, never done anything for me. I practice yoga about one time a week. I think yoga and meditation will help me out a lot. When I have had taken yoga classes, it seems to be more easier in order to make decisions. My biggest goal in life is to complete school, college right now. The furthest I would want to go is to get my PhD in mathematics.